the first thing that's really important to do is to establish what the students are interested in. So what's the demographic in the class? Is it mostly males or females? Have you learned from other areas of FETAC that they're interested in sport, for example? Um, and once you establish a particular interest, let's take sport as the example, try to find statistics in a real context, a sporting context, like newspaper clips or articles and magazines that you can use then to teach the FETAC course through. And I think that's really important and worth um, worth your while spending time doing that. So find the, the context that they're interested in. The next thing then that I think needs to be done and links in with the learning outcomes in FETAC is to establish what are the statistics that occur in everyday life. So are they aware of the presence of statistics in daily life, in newspapers, in sport, for example? Do they know that analysis is carried out on each soccer match, for example? So to get them to see the power and value again, if we gather statistics on a soccer match, how does that impact that team going forward? So if their top scorer is not performing, well, what happens? Usually they, they're not put in that position or they're taken off or someone substituted in. So these really in-depth statistical analysis will influence what happens in the future. So that's the next thing. And I think you've kind of possibly won them over a little bit then when they see the presence of statistics and the value. And the next thing I do then is move on more into the kind of body of the learning outcomes. And the way I do this is through the data handling cycle. So this is a system which all statistical researchers use and I use it in my own teaching. It can be applied to any statistics module. So it's kind of a four pronged approach. The first thing will be to pose the question. So get the students to pose a question that they're interested in. Again, maybe it could be what's the most popular watch sport within this group. Um, once they pose the question, then the next stage of the data handling is to go and collect the data. So using the instruments that are detailed in FETAC level two and three, like tally charts or record tables, get the students to go and collect that information on the question that they're interested in. The next thing then is that you want them to analyze the data and that's step three of the data handling cycle. So to analyze the data using Again, the graphical representation that's mentioned in our FETAC learning outcomes. So can they represent the data on a pie chart, a bar chart, pictograms, and so on? So they've now posed the question, gathered the data, and now they can represent it and see what the outcome is. What is the most commonly watched sport, for example? And the final step then of the um, data handling cycle is to interpret the results. So what do the results mean? Are you surprised by them? Are they interesting? Did we find out exactly what we wanted? And, and I think if you do that, um, it's a less laboured way of teaching and you can kind of have one context in which all of the learning outcomes can be achieved.